In addition to polyline functionality, I can go back to model and go and create a fence using this polyline. Select the polyline and give it a name. The objective here is to take all the surveyed points within that polyline and copy them onto surface number two so that we are able to view that in a 3D format. Click on the green tick, specify what output you want, and there's our fence number one. Having defined that, you could either go to survey mode, go to editing, and select surface change. Alternatively, in my case, I'm going back to model, polygon, copy, move. I can go and define a new polygon if need be. Right click and finish. Go and specify the current surface and the destination surface. I'm going to copy the points onto destination surface number two. So this is the new fence we've just defined. Alternatively, we can revert back to the original fence. Click on OK. And you can see that the point colors have been updated. If I were to go and turn on my triangulation, it may be a good idea to go and verify what has been done. So I'm going to go to model, remove invalid lines for surface number two. And you could also go back to model, validate surface number two. 